The hardest thing for someone who's currently renting and looking to buy their first home to get past is almost always the same. It's the ticker shock. When they see what that payment breaks down to and compare it to their current rent while doing nothing doesn't seem so bad. So Jazz, why should I go from $2,000 a month in rent to $4,000 monthly mortgage? Well, I can't tell you why you should, but I can tell you why someone might. And that's understanding the power of ownership. Now, if you tell me you're going to take that same extra $2,000 a month and put it in an index fund every month that you're going to save it and start a business, then we have a discussion. But if you're comparing $2,000 more a month to own an appreciating asset to $2,000 less a month for lifestyle choices, then you are misunderstanding the opportunity here. Now, let's say you buy a condo for $500,000 today and that appreciated conservatively for 3.5% for next five years. In five years, that condo will be worth approximately $590,000. That's equivalent of saving $1,500 a month, every month for 60 months. And that's not even including the principal pay down. Also, the chances in those five years is that you are able to refinance and lower your payment. That's pretty good, isn't it? But the chances that your rent doesn't increase 25% over those five years is almost zero. Now, this example is just for those who have the financial profile to buy, but haven't. I'm the first person to tell you that housing is out of reach for too many. But if you have the profile and capacity to buy and haven't moved with urgency, I do want to remind you of the risk and let you know that at certain point, it is not out of reach, it's just out of your appetite.